Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the 360 Daily Show, where we bring you the latest news in fashion and lifestyle. I'm your host, Adese Adwaka, and these are the headlines. Rema's Calm Down performance takes center stage at Anand Tumbani and Radhika Merchant's wedding. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez officially list their $68 million Beverly Hills mansion for sale amid marital woes. And Cardi B knows the only thing better than a micro bag is a bag bigger than your body. And on our trending segment, Rema's Calm Down performance takes center stage at Anand Tumbani and Radhika Merchant's wedding. Afrobeat superstar, singer and songwriter Rema brought his energy to the most talked about wedding of the year, performing his hit song, Calm Down, yesterday in India. Held at the Geo World Center in Mumbai, the lavish ceremony united Anand Tambani, the youngest son of India's wealthiest man, Mukesh Ambani, and Radhika Marchant, daughter of farmer tycoons, Viren and Shayla Merchant. The lovebirds, childhood sweethearts, who had celebrated their love through seven months of elaborate pre-wedding festivities, culminated their journey with a four-day extravaganza. The wedding ceremony was a global affair, drawing dignitaries like former Prime Ministers Boris Johnson and Tony Blair, former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, and Hollywood celebrities like John Cena, Nick Jonas, Priyanka Chopra, Chloe, and Kim Kardashian. And on our sports segment, Meghan Markle looks radiant in white at the 2024 ESPY Awards with Prince Harry. Prince Harry was honored with a Pat Tillman Award for service at ESPN's 2024 ESPY Awards this Thursday, and his proud wife, Meghan Markle, was on hand to support him. The Duchess of Sussex 42 wore a white halter neck gown by Oscar de la Renta to the star-studded event at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles, with many on social media drawing comparisons between the sleek style and Marco's wedding reception dress, which was designed by Stella McCartney. And on to our editorial segment, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez officially list their $68 million Beverly Hills mansion for sale amid marital woes. The 38,000 square feet house was posted for sale on MLS Thursday afternoon, just one month after it was reported the pair were quietly trying to sell it off market. The couple are asking for $68 million for the 12-bedroom, 24-bathroom home, nearly $8 million more than what they paid for when they bought it last year. And on our new collection, Tom Ford Resort 2025. Micro minis, slinky trouser suits, and flyaway of tan slit to the hip. What else could be this but the sexy and glamour legacy of Tom Ford? Peter Hawkins, Ford's longtime menswear designer, now the brand's creative director, is a Brit who knows every page of his former boss's playbook, going back to the heady 1990s and aughts of the Gucci years. Leafing through the alternating content of barely their body revealing pieces, sleek Lorex short tailoring, and cotton drill jumpsuits, Ross Tron said that Hawkins had taken a video documentary about Verushka, the great German model and artist Vera von Lundorf. And on Spicy or Not, Cardi B knows the only thing better than a micro bag is a bag bigger than your body. There was a time towards the late 2010s when designers collectively refused to produce handbags bigger than the size of their palms. Simon Jacquemus was selling diminutive versions of his Lashikito handbags built to accommodate just a couple of credit cards, while Lisa was posing on red carpets with a Valentino Gravani bag spacious enough to hold one singular tablet of chewing gum. In time, an oversaturation of me and my patients memes and fast fashion knockoffs led to the Tombolinas bags inevitable mainstreaming and fashion's pendulum therefore began to swing in the opposite direction towards ludicrously capacious alternatives. Kim Kardashian was papped with an obscenely gargantuan Birkin, Harry Styles with a sizable Mago and several NFL stars with Hawking and Miri top handles. Enormous Bottega Venata totes and jumbo size Hermes bags worth £68,000. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye bye.